We're trying out a Christmas theme this year. It's new for us, but we really want to be intentional with the things that we are bringing into our house. And we're hoping that this will help us to remember and appreciate some of the things that we did over the last year. For example, some of the ornaments that we have on our tree are from vacations that we went on. And then the things that we got our kids have to do with things that they have been learning about. Let me show you what some of those things are. With four little boys, it's easy to know what they want. They want Legos, but most of our family gets our kids Legos anyway, because everyone knows that our boys love Legos. So this year we just got them one joint gift of Legos and it's these dots. Now this fall, we've been focusing on the arts, the fine arts, like uh, art, music, uh, writing. And so with this, we thought it'd be really fun to do some mosaics, some pointillism, uh, some abstract art using these Lego dots. And it's something that my kids haven't really considered before, but we think that this will be really fun. We could also use it for spelling in the future, maybe. I just think that there's a lot of things that we could be doing with this. So this is a joint gift for my boys actually this year from us. And then, like I said, their grandma usually gives them Legos and other people, we never know where all the Legos show up from, but this is the first gift that they will be getting together. Now in their stockings, I always do breakfast. So Pop-Tarts, fruit, maybe uh, like a special juice box or something. And this Christmas is on a Sunday, so that will work out super great. Everybody could open their stockings, consume all the goodies uh, before we go over to church. But they also get a couple of toys. This year we went to Mount Rushmore and we found these mini blocks. And my son got a mini block set and really enjoyed it. But then we went ahead and while they weren't paying attention, picked up these uh, wildlife mystery mini blocks here. And so we just have four of them, one for each stocking, and they could be a bald eagle, a bat, bighorn sheep, bison, black bear. There's just all kinds of things that they could be in there. I think they're gonna have a lot of fun with these mini builds before we head off to church. Also in their stocking, they're going to be getting a small instrument like this harmonica. Uh, the jaw harp. We also need to pick up something like a kazoo or a pan pipe, not sure yet. And then we got this tiny little kalimba or finger piano. Now, the cool thing about this is that this summer we went to a, like a concert presentation by a man from the Congo. <laughs> and he was playing his kalimba and we love the sound of it and <laughs> look how tiny this thing is like it's so tiny so each kid is going to be getting a small instrument in their stocking but also we are giving them a bigger instrument later on in the day so one of the kids will be getting a larger kalimba also it's so pretty and it's just the right hand size for them i would want a bigger one but I think it's so peaceful. It's so pretty. So I'm really excited to give this to one of my kids. Um, it also, if you can see, it has the notes written on there and numbers. So I wanna get a music book to go along with this too so they can learn how to play it a little bit better if they would like to. For my preschooler, we got this bell set. Now, you've probably seen these on Prodigies or come across your Instagram or somewhere. Um, we didn't get the actual Prodigies set. We got a cheaper option off of Amazon and I'll link everything down below in the description. But I think this will be something that my little one can sit and do. They like like being part of the bell concert for our Christmas Eve service. So I think they'll be really excited to have their own little bells at home to be working on too. Besides the kalimba and the bells, we'll be getting a ukulele from my father-in-law as well as a keyboard. Ours broke and so we're getting a new one, but it's actually coming from some friends that we're getting rid of theirs. This is a very affordable Christmas and I'm very happy with that. We're also just going to be giving the kids these little, um, I don't know, building sets that we found. We have four of those. And then I have some brain puzzles that I found for them too. And so I'll break those up and give them to them as well. 
but really it doesn't seem like a lot. I don't know. I don't feel like it seems like a lot because I love giving gifts, but we know that they always get gifts from family and church family and people as well. And then we always end up with too much stuff. So what I'm going to do now is go through my house and declutter, kind of make room for some of the things coming in. We also made this video here that's on my old channel. It's one of our first videos. It's about more gifts that we recommend. If you are interested in checking that one out, you can click there. See you guys later on or over on Instagram. Bye-bye.